Hello and welcome to Guns and Gear. And this is a show and tell video and we're going to be looking at the AK-47. Now most folks know that the AK-47 was designed by Mikhail Kalishnikov and that he was a soldier in World War II and was injured in, in battle and uh, he began uh, an interest in designing weapons. A lot of folks may not know though, one of his very first designs was uh, heavily influenced by the M1 Garand. It was a carbine that he entered into military trials. But it fell short and lost out to the uh, Semenov design, SKS. Kalishnikov knew though that the Russians were looking to field a uh, full-out assault rifle. And so he began his uh, efforts on building one. Now the AK is not a original design, so to speak. It's a collection of other innovations from other weapons. And I believe that was part of Kalishnikov's genius. You know, one of the very first uh, assault rifles of the time was the German Sturmgewehr 44. And I probably mispronounced that, but anyway. And it was a fine rifle. And, uh, you know, Mikhail uh, Kalishnikov has often said that you know, he did not borrow from that design, but if you look at the two rifles, they, their appearance uh, are very similar. And it's also noted that it has the same gas system as the Stormgewehr 44. But there's also some American influence in this, in this weapon. You know, the, it's often uh, noted that the trigger group and the locking lugs of Raceway is uh, similar to the M1 Garand and M1 carbine designs, okay? And the safety on the weapon is attributed to a, a John Moses Browning design, the Remington Model 8. Okay, so uh, basically, there are a lot of his own innovations, but he uh, brought together a lot of uh, different design features from other weapons to create a rock solid, durable uh, rifle. That is also easy to manufacture and inexpensive. And that's probably one of the reasons of its, of its success. Now let's take a look at this uh, specific rifle. This is an American uh, made rifle. It is the Krebs KTR-03S. And it is chambered in 7.62 by 39. But it also has some innovations that are, are different that you would normally see on an AK. Okay. First of all, if you take a look at the uh, forend, it's a three rail design and it also has a proprietary gas system designed by uh, Krebs. The gas block incorporates the front sight. Okay, and the front sight is adjustable uh, very much like a AR-15. Another thing that you'll notice is the dust cover, and the dust cover has a rail and rear sight attached to it. And to be honest with you, that was a uh, concern of mine. And I gave the folks at Krebs a call and uh, voiced my concerns and talked with a the gentleman there, and he basically told me that uh, that dust cover, uh, they manufacture to a very high tolerance, and it fits super tight on the weapon. And their test rifles has had several thousands of rounds put through it, and uh, it has never come loose. So I took a chance on it, and I bought this rifle, and I'm, I'm certainly glad I did. It's turned out to be a wonderful weapon. And some of the other things that it has on there is, uh, well, of course, it has a AR-15 uh, type of uh, flash hider. Now the grip is a Tapco. And the trigger is Tapco, and it's a very smooth ta uh, trigger, and probably attributes uh, to the fact that it is a pretty accurate weapon. Now you also see a lever here, and this lever actually operates the, uh, oops, excuse me, the safety. So folks that are taking carbine classes and things of that nature, and are used to having the, the weapon mounted and using the thumb to uh, take the safety off will be right at home with this. You know, very AR-like. And it also has a retractable stock. Now when I first got the weapon, it had the standard stock on it, and that was just a little bit too short for me, so I went ahead and purchased this from Veltor, and it's designed to fit on the AKs, and it gives me a uh, little bit more length of pull, making this weapon a, a lot more comfortable for me to shoot. Now, uh, because it has this rail on there, 
it allows me to use some optics that uh, and, and mount them on in a way that you normally don't see on an AK. And I have a uh, aim point on mine, and uh, this is a LaRue Tactical M68 mount. And this mount actually is designed for a AR. And it's a bit tall, but it works pretty well on this rifle. And I found and I found that LaRue Tactical products are just top of the line. You know, uh, they are absolutely renowned for building optical uh, mounts that uh, you can take off and put on without with minimal loss of uh, zero. And that has been the, the case with mine. And I have several LaRue Tactical products. I'll tell you what, they're worth every penny. They uh, truly are good products. Now this is a standard AK in a lot of aspects, whereas uh, you can use uh, any magazine that you would normally use in an AK. It came with an Eastern Block type metal magazine with the rib in the back here. But it's also at home using a, a, a Chinese drum. And I have a handful of uh, Chinese magazines that I owned with uh, uh, some Norinco AKs that I'd owned in the past. And they work just fine. I've never had a problem with them. So this is a a quick look at my AK. Uh, I'll tell you what, if you're in the market for a top of the line, high quality AK, you should give Krebs Customs a look. They have a website and they have several different uh, variations of AKs on there and I'm sure that you'll be able to find one that you like. Now I'm not real sure they still make this one. I think they're uh, one of their new designs is that the rail actually attaches to where the front sight normally was and it goes all the way over top of the dust cover and attaches to the stock and it appears to be a pretty uh, rock solid design and as a matter of fact you can that rail is hinged so you can lift it up and take the dust cover off to uh, clean and maintain the weapon but at any rate uh, if you're looking for that top of the line AK uh, give Krebs some consideration. I know I highly recommend the one I have here. It's been a great shooting rifle. I've enjoyed it immensely. And with that, I'll end the video. So, uh, shoot straight on the range and in life. Thank you.